Also, what I got in from this uh, scooter swap shop place is a. I ordered a kickstand. Um, a kick, uh, not a stand, but a kick uh, kicker. And I thought it was kind of neat looking. It's stage six. Anything stage six is well made and expensive. They just are. On these. And of course, I've got my Boys and Weeds uh, read thing I've got to work on and everything else. As soon as it starts to warm up, I mean, my old bones just can't take this cold. So I just wait and wait and wait. I've got my Sudco carburetors. It's a big 33 that's going to go on. And I was uh, Grant Mara, good friend of mine who, who uh, turned me on to the 33 and also the um, NCI because he had he's had all these he's in Ohio. What a Hawaiian is doing in Ohio, I have no idea. Because believe me, I'd rather be surfing than over there sitting out cold. Anyway, um, Grant told me that I could go to another scooter shop and find a big intake, is what it's called, that will fit a 33 inch carburetor, which is this carburetor right here. And I caught to look at it really, really carefully. What they have for sale on this site is yes it will fit this carb but if you buy just a stock ordinary black CT manifold right here and you go to OEM cycle out of Seattle I think it is and you buy their um, 40 millimeter spigot rubber spigot which fits right on here just like that you got the same exact thing the intakes are the same the parts are very very close the one thing I've noticed about the hundred and I don't know hundred and twenty dollar um, big intake that they were selling out of California was that they don't have four holes down here they go into the block right here you, you it says some machining is required and I don't know you either gotta uh, fix the back holes or the ones closest to the cylinder so save yourself some money if you're gonna put on a 33 big boy Sudco right here save yourself some money get yourself one of these black manifolds with this on it and buy just the rubber spigot like that and it'll fit perfect because that's what I did and before I even knew that they they had a, a larger uh, intake for sale. So things are going together okay. The one thing about the motors is if you have a motor build and you know how it's going to work with the basically with what components you're going to use, use those. Don't put on the Vulcan death ray muffler bearing um, nitrous accelerator bearings on the first thing okay get your core motor to work fine um, fine-tune it get it to get it working for the season whatever you want to do then start adding things start adding your um, special dual clam clutch or start adding your NCI uh, rotor kit or your uh, larger carbs. The, the reason for that 
is that if you add all these really cool high performance things and the motor doesn't quite work right you're not sure what the hell's wrong with it it could be anything now one other word of warning here like uh, I believe uh, one of the owners of uh, the swap shop scooter swap shop made a video saying don't use a stock fan which I wholeheartedly agree this is the fan that comes with this little NCI rotor. I don't even know why they put it in there. It's a total piece of shit. Junk. This is a stock fan. All right? Maybe you can notice the difference. And uh, one good word of advice is they still do make these. And they're only $14 uh, at Bike Bandit. So if you're out of fans, get one now. Because when they stop making them, there is no other fans that will work. You can use this fan here on your bike. Or you can use this fan on your bike. And I'll tell you what will happen if you're lucky. I had a red fan on my bike. I thought, thought it was cool. I thought it was uh, dress up, everything else. Put it on, revved it up, revved it up, all of a sudden, bang! It exploded. The only thing left was little pieces of red that were bolted onto the flywheel. These pieces of crap right here are not balanced. They're not, all they are is flying shrapnel. Okay? Honda spent millions of dollars getting these fans correct all right so this is what you're looking at you're looking at this little piece of crap compared to this now if you ever heard of one of these going bad no you just think oh yeah it's a nice fan yeah it is a nice fan but honda developed these pretty 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 well so if these blow up while you're on the bike just be lucky if you're wearing a helmet and there's no uh, small kids, pedestrians, or anyone around that's going to sue your ass. So, like the man says, you take this stock fan that came with it, throw it away. Only use the Honda fan. That's the only one that's balanced for it. These at high speed when they are rotating have got to rotate in balance if they're off balanced they will get seriously out of wobble and they will fly apart and when they fly apart they make a really cool noise and hopefully you're not getting a hurt that's my oh and my uh, word of advice for today have you ever used well, we'll make one more. 